Hi, I'm Jordan Bradford with the Trinnell Financial Group. I am a financial advisor here, and I just wanted to share with you a few quick points on the new SECURE Act, which was just passed into law on December 20th of 2019 and just took effect on January 1st. A couple of the main points uh, regarding the SECURE Act, uh, probably the biggest one out there that everyone has heard of or a lot of people have heard of at this point is the, the change in the requirement the required minimum distribution age is going from 70 and a half to 72 years of age. So the good news is, is if you have not turned 70 and a half yet, but you are anticipating doing so in the next year or so, you get an extra year and a half to delay that. Uh, one key point to that though, is if you just turned 70 and a half in 2019, I'm afraid that you do still have to take your required minimum distribution, although you do get until April 1st of this year to do so. Uh, so just keep that in mind, but if you have not turned 70 and a half yet, that's what the biggest change from the SECURE Act is that we're now going to 72 years of age. Allows your money to grow a little bit longer for you. Uh, a couple other major changes. Uh, it now is significantly easier for small businesses to pool their resources together and develop a 401k plan or any sort of workplace retirement plan with other companies that might be in their area or don't necessarily have to be in the area, but just allow them to pool their resources together much, much easier. Uh, another big uh, item from the SECURE Act is that part-time workers are now uh, more eligible to participate. In the past, it was more challenging for a part-time worker to accrue the required number of hours to actually contribute to a workplace retirement plan. And now those regulations are, are much, much uh, uh, easier for uh, these part-time employees to be able to do that. Uh, one of the last big changes is the stretch IRA provision. So this is another big one, and this can impact people in different ways. Uh, but the main thing to know here is that if you are inheriting an IRA that is not from your spouse, the IRS is now requiring in almost all instances that you deplete the money from that IRA within 10 years. So while before you were eligible to be able to uh, take that distribution based on your age as in the person inheriting the IRA, now you're actually gonna have to start taking withdrawals right away and finish those withdrawals within a 10 year span. Again, that's only if you're a non-spouse inheriting an IRA, but it is important to know as part of your estate planning needs and as part of your financial planning future. Um, those are the main big uh, points to the SECURE Act. It did start here, like I said, on January 1st. So if you have any questions at all or need any advice related to any of this, uh, please feel free to reach out to us, the Trinnell Financial Group. You can reach us at 847-680-9050. Thank you.